welcome back from the short break. But I think it's time for us to just do a very simple summary. All we've been talking about is on what? Leadership. And I said leadership is what? Influence. Simplicity. No less, no more. Leadership is influence. This is a fact, and everybody knows that. But sometimes, we think it's about what. Today, I am telling you, it's not about what, it's about how. The what is the fact that we know leadership is influence. But the how is how do we influence people? How do you get people on board? How do you get people to align to the vision of the organization? How do you align people? How do you get your followers to believe so much in you and follow you? Leadership is what? Influence. And let me tell you the how. Basically, what we are doing today is how to influence what? People. How to influence your followers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to influence people, the first value that you require as a leader is integrity. That is the I. Leadership is influence. The I stands for what? Integrity. Doing what is right. Believing that nobody will even ever see. Doing what is right, irrespective of the forces against you. You've got to do what is right. That is integrity. Walking the talk. Simple and short. Please learn how to nurture your followers. Empower the young ones who are with you. Because leadership is not a permanent position. One day you will be gone. But the people that you have empowered, when they take over the reins of the organization, you will sit at home and you begin to relax and watch how things are unfolding because they are demonstrating that they have been empowered enough. But if you get absent for one week, two weeks, one month, and everybody is crying, the organization is not moving forward, the country is not moving forward because you are not around, it means that you are a very good example of a bad leader. Pray. Please have faith in your followers. If you don't believe in me, I don't see why I should believe in you. Right? It's reciprocal. Have faith in me and I'll have faith in you. Please listen to your followers. You should have a listening ear. People want to be listened to. They don't want to be just heard, merely heard. No. Please listen to your followers. Have an understanding heart. Some leaders have a heart of stone. If you have a heart of stone and you are a leader, don't think anybody will ever want to die for you. Nobody will want to die for you. We are committed to dying for leaders who have an understanding heart. Be emotionally intelligent. What are we saying? Be sensitive to your environment. Be sensitive to the needs of the people who are following you. Can you wear their shoes? Can you feel the way they are feeling? If you are, then you'll be able to talk to them why it is right. And you're able to deal with their situations. And probably help them through troubles when it is time. I love this. A leader is the one who is able to navigate his followers through trouble. When I find myself in trouble and you are my leader, and you are able to help me out of that trouble very professionally, I will salute you forever. I'll be so loyal to you forever. If you call me at 1 a.m., I'll be running. My phone will never be off. Because I know that I owe you something. That you are deserving my respect and I have to die for you. Communication skills. If you're a leader, you can't communicate. You don't have the skills to communicate to your people. I don't see how they can follow you. The last one, every leader must be exemplary. If you're a good leader, then you should set an example for people to follow. Because you are ahead. And whatever we do, you do. That is what we also copy. So we copy from you the good and the bad. If you have integrity, you are a good leader. If you nurture people, you are a good leader. If you have faith in people and they have faith in you, you are a good leader. If you have a listening ear, it's good. If you have an understanding heart, it's good. You must be emotionally what? Intelligent. Learn how to navigate your people through trouble. Please, some communication skills. And above all, be an exemplar leader. Listen to this. If you are a leader and you don't have integrity, if you are a leader and you don't nurture or groom your people, if you are a leader and you are not emotionally intelligent, in other words, you are emotionally dead, if you are a leader and you do not, you cannot na what? navigate your followers through trouble, if you are a leader without communication skills, and if you are a leader, a very good example of a bad leader, what you have left is what? Flu. This is the flu effect. A leader without integrity, a leader who cannot nurture people, a leader who is not emotionally intelligent, a leader who cannot navigate his young ones through trouble, a leader without communication skills, a leader who is a, bad, a good example of a bad leader, I am telling you, what is left is what? The flu what? 
the flu effect. This is the flu effect. And you know what flu is? In Ghana, we call it what? Flu can disable your whole system. If you are a leader and you are creating a flu effect, you can be seen to be acting as a leader. But in fact, you are, in dis you are disengaging the whole system and you are rather creating mess. You don't have faith in people. You don't listen to anybody. Your heart is like a stone. You are creating the flu effect. Ladies and gentlemen, the flu effect is a dangerous virus that can destroy any organization. It doesn't matter how developed the organization is. The flu effect is a dangerous virus that can destroy any country. A leader who do not have faith in people, a leader who do not listen, and a leader who cannot understand anybody, you have a heart of stone, you will create the flu effect. And God forbid, if you don't change, there is no way that country, there is no way that organization, there is no way that family can make progress. Leadership is all about what? Leadership is all about what? It is about the how and not the what. And this is the how. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.